Hey, it's Dino from Digispin Crypto. Now, we've all seen the video release about the iOS app that came out today. Uh, as a beta tester, you can download it and start to uh, tinker around with it. But there was a key item that was uh, in that video that I want to talk about today. I'm not going to tell you yet, but I'm going to give you some analysis and my thoughts on what may or may not happen. So let's get to it. So let's start off with, you gotta subscribe, spank that like button, and definitely comment below. This is important so that we can grow the channel and make sure that others can see the videos and get a lot of good information. Maybe uh, pick up some uh, uh, some new knowledge that they didn't have prior. So I'm counting on you to like, comment, and definitely subscribe to Digispin Crypto. This is important. Now, let's get rid of that little graphic at the bottom. So we all have to admit, this week has been uh, pretty amazing for Electronium. You know, getting listed on a new exchange, um, the uh, new fork with the ASICs, and uh, now they've released the iOS version of the mobile miner. Now, what I want to focus on specifically though, is a comment that was uh, in the video. And that was the mentioning of cloud mining. How are they going to get around the uh, Apple uh, terms of service problem where you can't actually mine on the application itself? Uh, it can't be included in the application uh, on the phone. So they don't want the phones mining or even simulated mining, which is kind of silly to me. There's not a problem for them to be able to simulation. It doesn't take up any extra energy or or offend the the, mo the 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 phone in any way. But those are the terms of service. So having said that, they had to remove that. So what I want to tell you and what I want to discuss is what is cloud mining and I also want to talk about what I think Electronium is going to do. Now there's three options that I'm going to discuss with you and how you can uh, cloud mine. And uh, then I also have some other ideas. So stick with me. Let's uh, take a look. Let's change so, the camera. Over. One of the first ways that you can access it. Now I, there are three that I know of. Three ways of uh, interaction with cloud mining that I've seen. There may be more, but uh, these are the three that I've seen. The first one is basically just outright renting hash power. And basically you have yourself set up. Uh, you'll go out to, to a data center and uh, you'll get connected to some kind of a, a PC and that PC then will distribute out to uh, multiple servers or ASICs um, to do uh, the bidding and do all the work. And they uh, secure all your coins and drop them in the, into your bag. And what you do is uh, pay X amount of dollars, maybe it's Bitcoin or what have you. Uh, you set up your algorithm that you want on the server and it goes out and takes care of it. And you're basically renting the hash power of this particular server and PC. Sort of uh, like a nice hash or what have you. That's kind of uh, hash renting type of capabilities. Now. Could Electronium do this? Um, could this be what they're looking to do? Well, you know, maybe uh, they're going to set up, you have your mobile miner and you have put up so many ETN 
and it goes out and they have machines in place or that they've paid for and it will uh, perform the, the the mining operation and give you back some coins so this will require you uh, to put up X amount of ETN and let the machines do their work to get a return so you know I'm looking at this yeah it's possible my thoughts on this is that you know this might be a nice upgrade uh, where you can rent hash power uh, put up X amount of ETN because you know there's going to be some overage charges a little trim off the top uh, to pay for maintenance electricity uh, all that good stuff and that could come off of uh, the winnings of the coins and then you get the leftovers but you know it's kind of defeating the spirit of the, the mobile miner where they were dropping air dropping off the coins to you this requires you to put up some electronium uh, to let the the server uh, do its uh, mining and you know to get a return yeah you could probably make some money on this and this may be a nice option as they go forward the second way is you can have your uh, laptop or mobile phone or what have you and basically this the second option is is that you actually rent a whole server all right so you're out on the cloud you get to a data center and there's a computer sitting there or a server and you pay a fee you know once a month you know and it could be quite expensive uh, to rent a whole server is a, a lot of cash uh, you know it could be two hundred and fifty dollars a month uh, I've seen it you know maybe even as low as a hundred dollars for a decent machine this is in the United States it, it could be a lot less where you are but um, but now this becomes your your server and you can log on to it and do whatever you want install whatever you want on it and uh, this is a really great option for particular types of solutions but the sheer cost of uh, setting this up you know paying each month to be able to mine to be able to get coins back again this could be another option as an upgrade or a secondary services that could be available you know renting a server is not a cheap thing to do and I don't see electronium renting all these servers for us to mine to drop coins off so I think renting a server is not going to be the answer either uh, number three is a, a virtual machine and again you have your phone computer what have you you go out to the cloud and you have a server sitting there but what what they do here is they virtually break up the server into components so you'll have completely each one of these will look like they are independent computers even though they're all using the same piece of hardware this allows shared cost on the hardware and they can break it up into you know 25 30 different uh, operating systems running independently so when you're accessing it it's you look like you're renting your own server but you're actually sharing a, a, a piece of hardware now the cost would come down significantly on this I, I've seen these uh, you know for as little as 30 bucks uh, the 50 bucks a month and that's not too bad you can have your machine go out and do some mining or whatever you'd like to do with it that's another way of uh, cloud mining I'm not sure you know and, and this could be a, an ASIC uh, also sitting out here and basically the ASICs doing the work and then paying each one of these folks in the uh, in the system but again you've got to put money up or electronium's got to buy the hardware uh, it would generate coins and it would literally be on the blockchain but 
I don't see this happening either as an initial. I don't think it really gives us the spirit of what they were trying to do. So I'm thinking to myself, what would I do as Electronium? You know, I've got to have mobile mining without actually having it mobile mine or be virtual, uh, I mean, the, or be simulated uh, to get past Apple's terms of service. I don't want to put up a whole lot of money for the hardware and invest a lot of money to, to, to actually mine on the block. What am I going to do? How can I have a cloud mining service? That's the reason why you connected here to Dino at the Digispin Crypto and uh, got the information uh, directly from us. So what I'm going to give you, I'm basing on my 30 years of experience in systems design. And if I was Electronium, I'd probably do it this way. So if this ends up happening, remember you heard it here first at Digispin Crypto. This is what I'm thinking. So option four, where I'm going to put my $10 bet. Right, let's start off real quick. Right now you have your mobile miner. You turn it on by clicking a little button. The uh, mobile miner app takes a look at your phone, determines how fast it's running, does a little mathematics comes up with a calculation and basically uh, talks across the internet to Electronium. All right. Tells Electronium, hey, you know, Dino uh, is running at uh, XYZ speed. Electronium then takes a look at that and says, all right, we're going to pay him uh, 30 coins a day. Uh, divides it out by you know 24 for the hours uh, and it comes out to 1.1 or whatever uh, per hour and every hour it kind of dumps that into uh, a database that they are keeping there and when they decide to do the payout at the end of the day they have a program running it evaluates it goes through each user uh, adds up all of their coins and then it drops it, whoop, hey, I'm in the way. Let's uh, get rid of me. And then drops it basically um, onto the blockchain. All right, so that information becomes recorded. And now you can see that information when you do a status. That's basically what's going on. There may be more uh, software and hardware involved, but that's the basic concept of what's going on with this. So let's uh, clear this out. So my thought on the matter is that what we're looking at, my number four option, or my $10 bet, how do we have a phone app that doesn't simulate the mining or, or mine, but still let you mine all right they mentioned cloud mining so my bet is as follows they take the app and we'll go through the cloud here and they connect to a data center where they'll have a web server sitting up here and the app, when you go and say, hey, I want to mine, click mine, will open up a browser. Now, whether it opens up the browser on its own or not, uh, my personal preference would be to take the app and actually have the browser open in the app. So it looks like it's part of the app. Okay. Now keep in mind, the app isn't mining. It isn't going to be talking anything. It's opening up a browser that's talking to a computer or a web server that's giving it information, which is perfectly, perfectly good with the terms of services uh, that Apple has played out. All right, the app is not mining, it's not simulating. It's opening up a browser internal to it. Now, 
the app will then send information one time to the web server and say, hey, my phone runs at XYZ, my name is Dino, and the web server collects that information, puts it into a database, and it does all of the calculations and keeps track of everything that's going on. All right, drops stuff in there. It uh, kind of comes and goes, does everything. So basically we've taken even the semblance of quote simulation mining, which really doesn't perform it that much uh, problems or doesn't create any problems for the phone. You know, it does a once in a while, it does a ping, it, it does a math uh, equation, and it just says, hey, I'm still here. All right, so you know, these two can talk to each other still, but instead of all that being done on the app, the app opens up a web browser, the web browser is being served from here, and from here you're turning on your software, you're turning on your, uh, your mining, and you're using basically a portal window into a computer that's simulating your simulation of a mining app. Does that make sense? <laughs> so you're getting to see, so your simulation mining is actually being done now at the web server, and it, all it's doing is sending the details into the browser window as a little portal window so that you can kind of see into that, into the, uh, the web server. You know, it, it's not mining anymore, uh, so uh, that's possible. This is my thought on the matter. Uh, so now the web uh, program, the server can now also now check, figure out how many uh, you've collected. Now, here's the thing. You don't need anything mining. Electronium has already got themselves a, a big bag of, uh, of ETN coins sitting there that are already been pre-mined. Pre and so they'll keep those available on the web server. Uh, the quantity, not the physical location of them. So this web server will be able to now talk to Electronium where they have the big bag of coins and tell Electronium, hey, Dino's been interacting with me, uh, has been mining, and we need to pay him. And so then Electronium will, uh, will go out, talk to the blockchain, put the coins onto the blockchain and they will then be displayed on my phone. So now everything is actually simulated and mining and doing whatever it's gotta do. It's all simulated, there's, there's no mining. But all of the mechanics and mathematics are actually being done in the cloud and the app is only, the only thing the app is doing is opening up a, a web browser a uh, portal to take a look at uh, what's going on uh, externally. So um, I think that that may solve uh, Apple's terms of service. I think it'd be worth a try. And I think that this may be the direction that they're going. Uh, if Apple, you know, rains on their parade, they don't even want you to see it. Uh, you may have to go to the Electronium website uh, and from there you can then access this. So what they may have, you know, if, if Apple still, you know, rains on their parade, you can have the app open a browser, take you to the ETN website, and then the ETN website can then talk to uh, this uh, cloud mining system. So that's, I, it's going to be a flavor of this. And... Just remember, you heard it here first, right here at Digitspin Crypto. This is what's going to happen. This is the solution that's going to be made, and it's either going to be in a window on the on the uh, on the application, or the application is going to take you to a browser window that you can control um, the cloud mining service. So, let me know what you think. Tell me if you think I got it right in the comments below.
If you don't think I got it right and you want to give me a thumbs down, please, again, put it in the comments below. But uh, I appreciate you coming. Please make sure that you like and subscribe. And I will see you next time on Digit Spin Crypto.